And a Del Paso Heights man says that he is angry at some of his neighbors who continue to spray paint graffiti on his fence. He says the problem has been happening for months and now things have turned violent. He says that he was assaulted by those that he believes are responsible. In tonight's main point, ABC 10's Jeannie Nguyen is hearing from him and hearing about his frustrations and is asking how the city is responding to all of this. Jeannie? Alex, that man tells me this has been a problem for a year and he's losing his patience with having to constantly clean up after the graffiti has been spray painted on his property. And what makes him most frustrated, he tells me, he feels like these people will never get caught and that he will always have to be the one to clean up their mess. I wanted a place where I could retire. That was the idea when Guy Chase moved into this Del Paso Heights neighborhood five years ago. But since the last year, his neighborhood has seen its share of graffiti and it keeps popping up on his own fence. He says he calls police but gets transferred to 311. They came up and put signs along this fence. So there's like a thousand dollar fine for leaving graffiti or vandalism, something like that. And within a couple of days, every single sign was tagged. Following each incident, Chase would have to clean up the mess himself. I started getting the letters from the city because I was violating some code by not painting over it fast enough. All of this while the people actually responsible, he believes, avoid the consequences of their actions. There's more, a more severe penalty for us as a victim of a crime than there is for the criminal. Because if we don't paint this fast enough, we get a letter and the threat of a fine, which is completely absurd. Two weeks ago, Chase says he tried to take matters into his own hands by catching those responsible in the act, but things took a turn for the worse. I'm face down on the street right here. When I came to, my neighbors had carried me over to the side of the street and had called an ambulance. So I don't, I don't even remember being assaulted. His neighbor, Ramona Landeros, is motivated to help bring positive changes to the area. She's also running for Sacramento City Council. We come together and support uh, our community members and anyone who needs that support, especially when it's so close to home. A City of Sacramento spokesperson tells ABC 10 it's the homeowner's responsibility to remove the graffiti. He has received warnings about it, and the city has also provided him with free paint. Chase says he's still frustrated and wants those responsible to know. I'm not scared at all. I'm angry. This is my home, and somebody, some child does not have the right to tell me that this is their wall to destroy however they wish. A spokesperson with Sacramento Police tell me it takes the presence of graffiti seriously, and the North Violent Crime Reduction Team will continue to do follow-ups on these incidents. Alex, back to you. Thanks, Jeannie. And we also spoke to the Sacramento Police about this issue. They say that they work closely with the city's Code Compliance Division to promote their graffiti abatement program. They urge people to report graffiti to their non-emergency line. That number is 916-808-5471.